say listen to somebody like Jack Moore, right? He's one of my current day heroes. I think he's even like he's way younger than me. I think he's 26 years old or something. So he created the the app called Stripe, whereby you can it it basically automatically converts Bitcoin and US dollar forward and backwards. Mm -hmm. So what he was saying is we have all these things like PayPal, we have but somebody from PayPal can't pay somebody at Vin Vinmo. Okay. You need a you need a Vinmo account to pay that person. Yes. Why can't they pay each other across yeah. like like we do with banks? Yeah. That's what Stripe does. That's what Bitcoin allows. These apps allow you to do what we wanted other things to do because of the technology that is now in existence. Mm. So and in that, by, in, by doing layer two and layer three apps, they've now made them so easy. It's, like I said, it's easier than signing up for your Facebook account True. to get a wallet. Um, yesterday in passing, and I'm sure you're going to get into, into it today, which is what I said to them. Um, they were asking about Breeze, where you're, mm. um, the platform that you use for your, for your podcast right now. So talk to us about Breeze, because they were asking, what is it an online mag or is it a podcast platform? <laughs> like, what exactly is Breeze and how yeah. they utilize it? So the best way to describe Breeze is a client. It's literally a Bitcoin client. And when I say that, I mean to say it's a wallet. It has a wallet feature, mm -hmm. but it has different tabs. So you would touch on the top uh, like I think there's three stripes and then it gives you the option of going to your wallet mm -hmm. going to the podcast mm -hmm. section and then going to apps yeah in that app section there's other apps that you can use um, whether it be for trading mm -hmm. there's one where you can get paid for your article so you would write an article put it up and there's an actual paywall mm -hmm. yeah so I'm telling you guys there's so many ways to get paid currently as creatives yes. I mean there's one I found out yesterday where they created a, a, a integration into twitch so that if you're streaming your gaming and what, 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 you can get paid mm -hmm. while streaming in Bitcoin for the people watching you while you stream, the same way that they do at listening. So now this is just outside of our conventional platforms like your Spotify's and your Apple's um, and, and so forth. It strictly has to be on, on, the, on Breeze and the likes. Well, so, so, so the same way that you would download, yes. So the thing is, part, like if Apple then were to integrate Yes. Lightning too, which they can do very easily. Okay. The, the whole thing is all of this is out there for free. This code is open source. Mm -hmm. They're not trying to hide anything from mm. you. So you can see if I put money in this wallet, mm. what's going to happen, right? Um, but that's with the non-custodial options. The custodial ones, don't, don't mess with those, I would say, for now. <laughs> non-custodial just means you hold all access. Nobody else can, can, can get funds from your thing, can block you from using it. So think of a bank. Our normal banks, your bank account is a custodial account. Mm -hmm. The bank can stop you from doing what you want to do with that account. Mm -hmm. A non-custodial account means nobody can do what they want because you are your bank. Uh -huh. Breeze as a client is a non-custodial wallet they basically put a small node a bitcoin node in your in your hand in your phone to say you are your own bank you're getting money to your node mm -hmm. and then you're spending it mm -hmm. now to get on podcasting index and breeze as a as a podcast or you know you'd have to have your own node mm -hmm. like physical node that has the full blockchain because that's where your payments are sent to mm -hmm. Um, it, it doesn't work as well with, with, with mobile wallets because of the security stuff and I all that. I see. Um, so the, in my girlfriend's WhatsApp group, because we were talking about this interview actually <laughs> late last night, um, and one of them asked, she needs a case um, example. For example, this mm -hmm. is one episode of from season, episode of season two from The Jump. Mm -hmm. You take it, you put it on Breeze, mm -hmm. what happens thereafter? As the people listen to it, I get paid. Uh -huh. But who's... Anybody that has Breeze. Okay. Anybody that has any, and not just Breeze, mm -hmm. anybody that has any podcasting 2.0 app, there's a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> there's a couple of them. And any one of them that you listen, so mm -hmm. it's the same thing as when I upload, I don't upload to Breeze. Mm -hmm. I don't upload to Podcasting Index. Okay. I upload to the same place I've always uploaded, even before, oh. which was Red Circle, who's hosting. It's the same as Anchor, who hosts for some people. Mm -hmm. Anchor's owned by Spotify. Mm -hmm. I don't agree with that marriage because Spotify gets, anyway, they get ownership during their terms and conditions. There's a lot of different Te things. So yeah. Breeze, them don't do that stuff. I own all my ownership mm -hmm. with Podcasting Index. But all I have to do is that RSS feed, it, it, it's every time you upload a, a podcast episode to your service, it automatically updates the RSS feed, mm -hmm. which is where Breeze is reading from, yeah. and the podcast index and all the other apps, so it's automatic. I only have to upload it once. And then I get paid as people listen. So you will be hosting um, a lot of these, um, not uh, educational platforms, um, masterclasses? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> uh, not masterclasses. So we're going to do uh, what we call edutainment events. Um, and these are basic, oh, sorry, edu yeah, so they're educational and entertainment at the same time. Um, and basically what we want to do is instead of 
telling people the theory we want to show you how to use it in practical day-to-day -day things mm -hmm. we're going to show you how to buy something with it we'll mm -hmm. show you how to tip somebody with mm -hmm. it all of that will be done at the edutainment events because there's a lot of scams around and i can see how people i was also like man is this really the thing that's why it took me so long to get into bitcoin yeah. but the more you see it and use it for yourself, you know why you should do your own research and True. not trust people and verify and all these things that people are saying yeah. in the space. Because you can get scammed only if you don't do your own research. And also I think what I'm looking forward to um, here is the understanding of the technical jargon. Yeah. Because you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because you, 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 you can't be overwhelmed when someone says, no, it's a wallet, and it's a no, and then you just do it. Exactly, it's exactly. But at these, you know, you're breaking it down in practicality, so it's like a step-by-step step step thing. Step-by-step. Um, so I'm going to put you on the spot, Nico, when and where? <laughs> well, <laughs> when see, and where? the thing was, we were actually ready to start running these a while ago, yeah. and then uh, restrictions came in and everything, and the venue that we wanted to use, because we, we, it's all about also educating the people of the venue how to use it for their own business as well, yeah. you know, and and why we should start integrating this and all of that. Um, so we're looking at towards the end of this month, beginning of next month. Um, but at, there's so much going on, right? Like in 19 days, El Salvador makes Bitcoin legal tender. There's so yeah. many things that's about to happen in this space. And I'm really excited and I hope people are too. We are. And we're going to be. Especially as like, uh, you know, in the entertainment business and the business thereof. Any parting words? Um, I would say please do your own research. Read, read, read. There's a lot of information out there. It's easy to sift through and, and tell the difference once you really want to know. You, you guys that are on Twitter, there's, there's a big movement of Bitcoiners on Twitter that mm -hmm. will give you information. And that's the other thing. In this space, people are more than willing to help you. They're, they're not trying to hide and, yeah. and, and always profit. Secrecy. Like It's about making sure that people understand and can use this effectively mm -hmm. and feel safe and secure so that it's not questionable. Mm -hmm. That's why they're doing this. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing. I mean. Season two from the jump? Oh, yeah. Um, I almost forgot that. <laughs> we were also doing that. Um, yeah, I know. So find me everywhere where you have before for now. Uh, I will be scaling back from the Apple podcast and stuff as we're moving more into podcasting 2.0 mm -hmm. because we really want people to start using these services for themselves mm -hmm. and, of course, for me. Yeah. And <laughs> um, also Dog. I catch Danlu, up. Danlu's season got nine. our season one on yeah. right now. You know, they're, they're breaking ground with yeah. um, trying to make sure that Namibians get the access through a Namibian service yeah. as well. And and to push our things to the rest of Africa as well. Danu's really doing big strides yeah. there. Um, so please do tune in for season one there. And season two will be up. Mm, uh, Luella will have to tell me when he wants <laughs> it. Uh, that's up to him. Yeah. And yeah, no, but please do do your own research. Do some reading on, on mm -hmm. Bitcoin. Um, we will have more Bitcoin people coming up on the show. Mm -hmm. There's Let's a see. guy coming from uh, Jamaica that I'm actually speaking to soon. Okay. And this week's episode, I'll let you know real quick, is um, we got Shay on this nice. Sunday. Uh, Shay Ulenga is our guest for nice. this Sunday. So you guys heard it here first. Awesome stuff. Uh, if people have questions and uh, trying to reach out to, to see where, you know, the the edutainment platforms are going to be at and hosted. Uh, they can follow you at? Um, at Oaken, that's O-K-I-N underscore 17. And that's everywhere. You can find me on, on that handle, Instagram, Twitter. I'm not on Facebook. Don't try to WhatsApp me. I don't have those things anymore. Thank you. Right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the, the violence at the end there. Thank I'm you. just saying, I don't have those things anymore. <laughs> Thank you for coming, Diego. We really appreciate you. And, and, and friend to the show. So if you have any questions, just shoot them by us. We'll have him on the line quick and fast for you. As easy as that. Thanks for having me. MYD Startup was brought to you by NetBank. Make things happen.